Hey guys, how are you today? Today we are here with another video specifically showcasing uh, my product line of stamps and stencils and other things from my Etsy shop. The sh link for the shops in the video description. My design team has done a phenomenal job this month on the videos and we've also made some changes to the website and the design team blog blog page specifically. I will link it in the description below where you have a surprise article from somebody other than me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> um, this month I gave them all the prompt of backgrounds. Take the materials that I provide you and create some interesting backgrounds. And we're talking about that in front of uh, my large delusions here, which I've been trying to finish and I haven't filmed all the pages, but in a lot of the pages I've been trying out specifically some of my new stencils. You can see the one called Seeds right here. This is a new one that's currently available. And did I use one on here? I thought I did. Might be covered up now though. Oh, here's another one. This one is called Plus. This one is soon to be available. It's not quite available yet. So there's a lot of different ones out there. I am amassing a slow collection. Um, some of them that you will see me using aren't available quite yet, but they will be soon. This is the last page that I did. Um, and I used a number of different things. There's a lot of layers on here. You can see the plus stencil again back here in the background. Um, layering your stamps and stencils and paint on your papers or on loose pieces of paper to create backgrounds that you can scan and photocopy and then use over and over again. You've got your own custom paper. is always a great idea and you can have a lot of fun with it. I need to start a new page. So I'm gonna really quick um, grab my stencil binder. And I've got some leftover paint here on the table. I'm not going to show you, um, you know, a full completed finished page. I really want you to go watch everyone else's videos, but I'm going to grab a couple of stencils. This is one of the ones that is currently available. This is Seeds. And this one will soon be available, Stars. That's the plus one. I want to try this one with um, some texture paste. I think it would be really cool. Bare Bones Profile, Bare Bones Face, those are coming soon. This is another one coming soon called Podling. This is another new one, it's called Direction. And let's see. These are all currently available. This is probably my favorite one. And let's do Broken Lotus. I have like 15 more prototypes on the way <laughs> as we speak. Poor Mr. Deacon. Mike, my friend, dear friend Mike Deacon is the one that helps me get the stencils produced and I think I drive him crazy. Mike, if you're watching this, I'm aware that I'm an intense personality and I'm sorry. <laughs> if it drives you up the wall. My, my favorite ways to stencil is to use makeup sponges. Um, I don't necessarily try for a perfect impression, um, but if you want a pretty perfect impression, then you don't want very much paint on your sponge. I like to use the uh, paint and then let it dry, and then you can rubber stamp over it with some of your stamps. And, and just layer the stencils on top of each other. Don't worry so much about trying to create the perfect composition with the stencils. You're just making a background, a background that you're then going to maybe do a painting on or a collage or or something like that. And it is so much fun to create your own background papers um, that you can then use over and over again or send in happy mail or even, you know, um, get just give away. I think I want to switch colors and switch stencils. My desk is really messy. <laughs> By the way, really, really messy. And as you can see, I am not great about cleaning my stencils. <laughs> I'm really not. I wait until they're really, really goopy. And then I 
put them in a wash tub with some um, Murphy's oil soap and water and um, let them soak for a couple of days and um, then this paint and um, gesso this is black gesso on this one it'll come right off now that being said if I've used texture paste or modeling paste I clean it right away it's only when I'm using paint that I'm not you know super careful about it <laughs> So you can see really quickly how you can just use a couple of stencils and start to create something interesting on your journal without too much effort. We haven't really done much. I'm going to switch sponges because I'm going to switch to some of these greens here that are on my plate. I'm just trying to use up some leftover paint for another journal page I just did in another book for another collaboration that I just did. Now I don't want to mix these greens and purples too much because I'll just get mud. I'll get brown. That being said, I'm not afraid of a little mud. I'm also not looking for a perfect stencil impression, but that's not bad because I thought I had too much paint on the sponge. These are six by six and I've done them that way because that's what I like to use in my mixed media. I've discovered I rarely, I do own a lot of big stencils. I rarely use them in my journals, almost never. I almost always only use them in on my jelly plate. And even on the jelly plate, I use a lot of the smaller stencils. Oops, you do have to hold it down. <laughs> So really quickly you can start to get an interesting background with just a few stencils and then you can take a stamp and I have one in one of my uh, stamp sets. Let's see, this one that has my messy handwriting. It actually does say something in particular. I won't say what. You guys will have to buy the stamp set and try to decipher it. But it does. All right. We are going to get a black ink pad. This is uh, Ranger Archival ink. Now if you're going to do this on a page where you think the paint might be wet, you probably want to wash your stamp off when you're done so you don't get paint stuck in the... But how cute is that uh, for the start of a background? And I haven't really, I haven't really done anything. I've just put a couple stencils and a couple stamps down. And already we have something that's really interesting. So get out your stamps, get out your stencils, and use them. I challenge you to use them to create an interesting background in your journal or on a loose piece of paper. I challenge you. If you want to see what my design team members have done, all their video links are in the video in the description down below. As is the link to my Etsy shop, my PayPal tip jar if you want to support the free content here on YouTube by donating to the tip jar please do. The tip, the link is down there. Uh, the link to my website, it's just gone through a new update. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And um, my happy mail address, my Facebook groups, all that stuff, it's in the description. description. So check it out. Um, and above all, go out and have some fun with your art. Create some backgrounds. Do something unusual rather than just collage on the background or slap paint on there. Do something fun. Do something out of the ordinary. And if you create something really interesting, share it with the rest of us. We'd love to see. Above all, have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.